see that a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is it that America has failed to hear? This is the spot that my father screamed out 11 times. He couldn't breathe. I have to come here and be his voice because he cannot speak anymore. He kept saying, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He couldn't breathe. Just the idea that my son could be walking and a police officer could stop him and he not hear them because he has on these earbuds and to think that they could take his life because of that. How many peaceful protests have we seen? How many trending hashtags have we seen? But we haven't had one federal prosecution of a policeman for killing all of those folk. Something's wrong. If a police officer breaks the law, like any public official, that officer must be held accountable. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Millions of young people and queer people and poor people and people of color are asking, what do we do with all this anger, all this fear, this disappointment and frustration, this mad that we feel? The struggle for justice is not a fad, it's not a fashion. It's a way of life and you have to be faithful unto death. It ain't something to play with. Because these folk in power are serious. These folk in power use anything they can to buy you off, to cast water on your fire. Now is the time to plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. We could vote for mayors, we could vote for judges, and we could also vote for district attorneys. It is time to beat up prosecutors you don't like at the voting booth. It is time to hold mayoral offices accountable, chiefs and deputy chiefs. We're here because when you look at the sparkling eyes of these precious ones, we're here because we love them and we are unapologetic about our love of our precious people. And when you love folk, you hate the fact they've been treated unjustly. And if you don't do something, the rocks are going to cry out.